Hi, this is Monique. Welcome to my channel. I publish videos on this channel three times a week and my videos are how-to videos and tech reviews. So if you like this channel, keep watching. So today I want to talk about this Fujifilm camera. So it's actually a new camera. It's a Fujifilm Instax Mini 11 camera and it kind of actually reminded me of a Polaroid camera when I first saw it because it's one of those insta film cameras where you load the film in the back and kind of like how those old Polaroid cameras you know it spat out the film at the front well this one it shoots out the film on the side right so I'm kind of doing this review a little bit backwards I usually kind of unbox the camera first in the videos and then go over it but actually I took this out I was really excited to use it and I took some pictures today just to see what it looked like and it actually is kind of fun I mean the pictures are film and it's the kind that you have to kind of like whirl to get it to um, develop but they're still like it's fun to kind of get into the method of taking the picture again and have it come out right in front of you so I just want to show you what the box looks like that's what it looks like it comes in like a multiple number of colors I think they had three different colors at the store um, I think it was like purple yellow and then pink or something like that so in the box you get the camera and then you get some documentation and the film is separate so I just want to go through some of the stuff that you get so you get this kind of quick um, user guide you get a warranty and then you get like this place where you can like register your camera so that you can be part of a community and then finally you get the main user guide and sometimes you can use um, stuff without actually looking at the user guide or you can google for the user guide but this is really important you need this in order to know how to use the camera because it is a little bit out of the way of how to use this camera okay so you also have to buy film for this camera because it's one of those old school kind of Fuji camera and this one is like instant film so it comes with two packages of film inside of it so this is what the film looks like and it's in a package because if you remember how you use film it's when it's exposed to the light it gets ruined right so you need to actually keep it in the package until you're ready to use the camera and then when you use the camera it's got like this fully black container and you have to read the user guide in order to actually know how to put it into the actual camera shut the door and then turn on the camera because when you turn on the camera um, which is this button here um, it kind of like shoots the cover off of the film out of here yeah it's like some totally weird kind of thing um to use but yeah it takes two double a batteries also that come in the packaging and you put the batteries in on the top so it was actually really easy to learn how to use um that's the shutter button right there which is a little weird because like on a camera the shutter button is usually here or here right not like in front of the viewfinder see where that's where your finger goes that little thing there is the viewfinder and that's the flash and then they have this kind of like thing where you can take a selfie, which is really cool. Like this shoots out when you turn on the camera, see the light just turned on. And so if you pull this out further, then you can like turn it around and take a selfie like that. Let's actually take a picture. <laughs> see and so I can wave it and probably by the end of this video it will be actually developed the film so that is how you take a picture which is pretty cool I just press the button so one thing that I didn't like 
about this camera was that I had to press the button and I had to reach across the whole camera to press the button and then my finger if it slips it goes across the viewfinder so I realized if I take a picture like that this tiny little thing I have to look through the viewfinder I might put my finger in front of it or the flash so it might like ruin the picture and this is a film camera right so you know you only have a limited number of shots. I think there's like 10 shots or 12 shots in each package. So it's like you've just ruined a picture. It's not like a digital camera where you can just erase it and do it again. So, ooh, let's see. It's developing. Look at that. I don't think you have to like, you know, move it around to get it to develop. I think that people have just become used to doing that with like Polaroid cameras to shake it to think that it's going to develop faster, but it's not actually going to. But yeah, I took a picture earlier on in the day of myself and that's how the picture turned out. So, I mean, it's not as good as a digital camera. It's film and the exposure is a little bit different because um, it's just using a bright flash right in your face but just the action of taking the picture was fun so I would recommend using a camera like this when you're going on your vacation see it's not done yet but it's it's coming along really well <laughs> but if you're gonna like give a camera to like a kid or you know just you want a fun camera to take on vacation that's not too expensive um, that you don't have to worry too much about. This is a cool camera to take. Or if you want to do even like a photo project or a photo wall of like little pictures or scrapbooking or something like that, this is an awesome camera to get. It was, I think, $69 or $70 to purchase. So around 70 bucks. And yeah, you get a really sleek kind of looking plastic lightweight camera. Um, and like I said, you can bring your own film. You don't really have to worry too much. It's just the fun kind of action of taking the, the picture and then actually having it come out of the machine and then seeing it develop. Wow. So let's see. I think that was like 30 seconds, maybe less than a minute. And the picture is almost completely developed. So that's the picture that I just took right there. So it's a little bit gray still. So we'll see maybe another couple of minutes or maybe like another 30 seconds or so and it'll be perfect but it turned out really well landscape pictures portrait pictures that's the basic way to do it but there's also kind of a feature if you turn this dial you can take zoom pictures and stuff like that so i think it's pretty cool you just have to actually read through the book that comes with the camera but so you just pop that back in there and then you uh, have turned off the camera. So like I said, to turn on the camera and to eject the cover for the film, you press that button and it pops up. So that's pretty cool actually. So I would recommend getting this camera for like a kid or if you're going on vacation or something like that. Like I said, it's really fun. You can take selfies with it, which is really surprising. But one thing you have to remember, it is a film camera, so it's not a digital camera. You can't take unlimited number of pictures that you want. You have to remember that you have to be very careful with the film. You don't want to like expose it to light and then ruin all the film. And you don't want to by accident open the back of the camera because if you do that, then you've ruined all the pictures that you already took. So really, really important. But I am excited to take some more pictures and I might give this to my mom just so that she can take some fun pictures around the house too because um, we still have one more canister full of film and if you look on the back right there it tells you how many more pictures that you have to take so right now I think it's a seven yeah or five actually I was like what five more pictures that I have to take in this round of film so it's pretty fun. So if you've liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like I said earlier, I post videos three times a week on this channel and they're usually tech reviews or they're how-to videos. Thanks.